Hello everyone, my name is Alan Zero, and today I'm going to be doing a little bit something different on my channel. Um, I recently had an issue, and I decided to share this issue with everybody because I could figure it might be useful to everyone that might be having the same issue. Um, recently, I had my sound drivers that were working perfectly fine and had no issues whatsoever had even got my stereo mix set up just the way I wanted it stop working literally overnight I literally used it the night before and it didn't work the morning so after six hours of searching I figured out that Windows in all of its infinite wisdom had installed a buggy driver and as some of you will know in Windows 10 and some who don't you cannot choose which um, updates are installed or when they're installed or how they're installed you get every single update whenever Windows tells you you need it. So, obviously, this has been a problem in the past with the NVIDIA issue where it gave everybody a blank screen at startup, which was really nice. Um, the symptoms of this might be that something's working and then all of a sudden it's not. You restart your computer, it said it did updates. In my case, I didn't even have to restart. It was just already messed up that next morning. So I leave my computer on because it acts as a file server some too, so. But you come back and it's not working. Um, apparently Microsoft is aware that this is an issue because they made this nice little tool for us. Which is kind of silly because in... Well, I don't know why my... Okay, I guess I was going on the side. Okay. I don't know why they did this this way because back in Windows 7 which is what I had on this computer before it was really easy you just selected updates if you didn't want it you right clicked it in the selection screen and said don't install or you said hide and it was gone it wouldn't come back but instead now you have to go through this little tool process which the average user probably won't be able to do unless they look up something like this so that's why I'm making this so you'll actually go to this website and it's up here. I'll put it in the description also so that we can so that you'll be able to get to it easier. And then you'll go down and say download the show or hide updates troubleshooter package now. Now I'm in Firefox and if you think you'll be using it a lot you can do save. I'm just gonna open it for now because I have this page saved and then it'll tell you what it'll do and this is an official Windows website so there shouldn't be too much wrong with it keep in, keep in mind it is Microsoft and you click next and it goes through that screen and you'll want to hide updates and see I have right here my audio driver that messed up so I'll say hide it'll say resolving now I had to actually take my audio driver completely out anything that was related to it I had to delete and even delete the files from Windows itself that it installed whenever it first booted up so it was quite an ordeal like I said it took me six hours to get it all set and see now it says it's fixed it won't show it anymore unless you go back through it which I'm gonna do just for I don't know why you'd want to do this but I figure it doesn't hurt to show it anyway you'd go through the same process it'll do the TED detecting and then you'd say show hidden updates and see there I have my two drivers right there and then you click you decide which ones you want and you click next I'm not going to do that because I know these are buggy and I just don't I don't want to spend any more time on this silly little issue I will probably make another video for this particular thing I just wanted to make this general video to help anybody else out with this particular problem but I actually had to use a Windows 8 driver to just get my stuff back working so but like I said this will be a different video because it's much more specific to the VIA HD driver so like I say, I hope this helps somebody, and this uh, website will be in the description below. This is for all Windows 10 distributions, 
I guess I really shouldn't call them distributions. Windows will probably have a conniption over that. But it's for all Windows 10 versions. So I believe 32 and 64 bit alike. So Alrighty, thank you once again for watch thank you once again for watching. God I can't talk today. My name's Alan Zero. Like if you like the video, dislike if you dislike the video. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.